So uh, we have proved the uh, only if part of this theorem. Okay, and uh, uh, we will prove the if part next. Uh, that is, we assume that A has intermediate value property, we prove that A is connected, okay? The other direction, uh, here, we will prove this direction. We assume that A, is, uh, A has the intermediate value property, uh, and we want to show that A is connected. Uh, so, we still argue by contradiction if a is not connected then by definition there are open sets u and v they separate the set a okay now we define a function in A, defined on A, uh, whose value is given in this way, fx equal 0, 1. Uh, when x belongs to the intersection of A and U, uh, fx is 0. And when x belongs to the intersection of A and V, uh, then the value is 1. Uh, this definition of the function f is uh, reasonable uh, because this is reasonable. I remind you, this is reasonable because two facts. Firstly, the intersection of is empty. If this intersection is not empty, if the if a if if the intersection of a and u and a and v has a common point p, then this p we cannot determine the, uh, what, which is the value of f i p is it zero or one. By the first uh, line, uh, f p will be zero. By the second line, f p will be one. So if the intersection is not empty, uh, we have a problem to define the value of f at the common points of these two sets, but uh, because uh, A is not connected and uh, U will separate A, so we know that this intersection is empty. So it, this is fine. The second fact we need to uh, define this function F uh, is the second, the second fact is that A, the union of these two parts is exactly A. This is also crucial. If this union is not A, then there are points Q in A, but Q not belongs to A. A Q belongs to neither the intersection of A and U nor the intersection of U A and V. So for such a Q, we don't know uh, what the value of F at Q is. Okay, if the, the union of these two parts is not the entire A, we have problem when some missing point. So uh, so such an f is not a function defined on the whole A. It only defined on part of A. It could not be considered as a function on A. So the the uh, the property that A is not connected so that U and V separate A uh, used uh, in these two uh, reasons. Ah, okay. So we have this function. We can see that uh, F uh, do not does not F does not have intermediate value property, but continuous. Uh, why F does does not have intermediate value property? Because the image of F consists of 0 and 1, only two points. Uh, the image is not an interval. Therefore, f does not have intermediate value property. But f is continuous. f is continuous. Uh, why f is continuous? 
uh, lawfully speaking, f is continuous because it is locally constant. Uh, I, will, I will show you why f is continuous in the next page. Uh, our f is defined on A, fx is 0, 1, if x belongs to the intersection of A and U, uh, uh, no, here is U. Okay, so, so we, we, we prove that F is continual on A. So, for a point in A, we need to prove that F is continuous at this point. Uh, we might assume that A belongs to the intersection of A and U. The proof for the case that A belongs to the intersection of A and V is similar. Okay, so, so this is A and uh, uh, this is the, maybe this is A and this is the open set U. So A belongs to the intersection of A and U, maybe A is here. So, since A belongs to uh, U, U is open. Since, or A might be here. Since U is open, there is a delta positive such that the delta neighborhood of A contained in U. Therefore, For any x belongs to the intersection of this delta neighborhood and A, we will have x belongs to the intersection of A and U. Why? Because this delta neighborhood of A is a subset of U. Uh, so this, from this, we get that x belongs to A. Uh, intersection of A and U. Therefore, f x equal to zero, and uh, f x minus f a, the absolute value of f x minus f a, f a is also zero because a belongs to the intersection of A and U. Okay, so this is zero, less than any epsilon. So So for any epsilon positive, uh, for any epsilon positive, because of this reason, we can find a delta positive such that once x belongs to the uh, intersection of the delta neighborhood of the point A and the set capital A, the value of f and x and a is less than epsilon. This means that f is continuous at a. So this proved uh, our claim that f is continuous. So this completely the proof, uh, comp uh, finish the proof of our theorem. Okay. So our theorem says that uh, a is connected if and only if a has intermediate value property. And uh, previously, we have proved that pathwise connected set has uh, intermediate value property. So we get a conclusion. Uh, we get this uh, colorly. If A is pathwise connected, then A is connected. Okay, therefore connected is a, a more general property of pathwise connected because pathwise connected are always connected. Okay, and uh, a natural question is can you give me an example for uh, a set uh, which is connected but not pathwise connected? Okay, uh, 
I will give you an example, but I will not uh, go into more detail because uh, in the in the future in our this course uh, we mainly uh, deal with pathways connectedness. We will not uh, go to the connected uh, uh, anymore. Okay, therefore I don't want to uh, spend time to uh, discuss too much detail about this example. Uh, the example is classical. X Y plane one minus one, and uh, we have a, a curve sine one over x, and uh, this part. So I will write this explicitly. A1 is the segment 0 minus 1, 0, 1. Okay, so our A1 is this red part. Is this segment lies uh, on the uh, y axis? Okay, how about A2? A2 is this curve. X sine 1 over x here x take belongs to 0 and 1 uh, I don't I don't care whether this is uh, close or not but x could not be 0 so so a2 is this curve I, I drawn okay we have two set one is a segment the other is a, a curve related to sine uh, our a a is the union of A1 and A2. Then this A is connected, but not pathwise connected. Uh, this is an example. Uh, connected, but not pathwise connected. Uh, I will not prove this uh, conclusion. But I just let you know they are really have example. Pathwise connected is not the same uh, which is connected. Connected is more general. Okay.